Hi everyone, welcome back to Aim at Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and Aim at Melanoma's Ask an Expert. So in today's Melanoma 101 series, we're gonna talk about what the role of BRAF is in melanoma. So in order to do that, we have to understand what melanoma is and also what BRAF is in a normal setting. So melanoma, as you all know, is a cancerous process of the melanocytes in the cell, which are the part of our cell that are responsible for giving it its pigment and forming moles. So melanoma is a cancerous process of nevi or pigment cells. And BRAF is actually a gene that is present in cells and in our setting, we'll say in melanoma cells that actually tells nevic or melanocytes to grow. So in a broader sense, BRAF is a gene that codes for a protein that tells ultimately the cell to proliferate or grow, okay? So in melanoma, um, some patients and about 50% of cutaneous or skin melanomas will get what's called a BRAF mutation, which means that this growth pathway is working abnormally or differently than the way that it was intended. So what normally happens is BRAF plays a pretty central role in what's called the MAP kinase pathway. And that pathway is what ultimately starts at the cell surface and moves into the nucleus to tell the cell that it's time to grow. And that cellular growth is what helps keep cells alive and healthy and you know just like we grow cells need to grow as well this happens on a very structured and controlled signaling pathway so that these cells don't grow abnormally in cancer cells um, this pathway does get interrupted and that cellular growth pattern is a little bit different but in BRAF mutated melanomas this pathway actually occurs more frequently so what normally happens is that Primarily in this setting, BRAF signals this pathway to occur, the cell grows. In BRAF mutated melanoma, this signal occurs more frequently, so this pathway continues to occur in a non-regulated basis. So in a clinical setting, what we see in BRAF mutated cells or BRAF mutated melanomas, we see that these cells tend to grow faster than in patients that do not have the BRAF mutation. Now, why is that important? It's important because we do have something called BRAF inhibitors that actually will block or target this protein, this pathway, um, to prevent it from going forward. So it actually stops the pathway of cellular growth, which is extremely important in controlling melanoma. It's what is called targeted therapy. A lot of times what will happen and what they saw in the phase two and phase three trials that got these drugs approved is that we saw that in some patients, this pathway could still occur because MEK takes over because cells are pretty smart and they learn that they need to survive. And so the adaptation was that in some patients they actually saw MEK take over. So a lot of times you will see in these BRAF mutated tumors that both a BRAF inhibitor as well as a MEK inhibitor are used to help more completely block this pathway. And, the, and in the trials, um, in phase two and phase three trials, we actually saw not only better efficacy, but less side effects in patients that were treated concurrently with BRAF and MEK inhibitors together, okay? So a little bit more about um, BRAF. Again, BRAF is a gene that codes for a protein that ultimately is responsible for cell growth in melanoma. The mutation in the BRAF gene actually results ultimately in abnormal cell growth or quicker proliferation or cell growth in a melanoma cell. So the mutation results in an abnormal growth pattern. This BRAF mutation isn't present in all melanomas. And in fact, it's present in about 50% of cutaneous or skin melanomas. The most common mutation that we see is BRAF V600E. That's present in about 85 to 90% of all melanomas. Um, but you can also have other BRAF mutations. The next most common that we see is V600K, and that's present in about 5 to 7% of melanomas as well. Um, the BRAF inhibitors, um, 
really target these mutations. And so um, this is something that's extremely important to know about your tumor. Um, obviously right now in the way that treatment is going, um, the more information that you have about your tumor, the better. And so what ultimately the role of BRAF is in melanoma is that in some patients it can cause their melanomas to grow faster um, and be more resilient than folks that do not have the BRAF mutation. And it's also another way that we can target the tumor to try to kill it. So it's extremely important that in diagnosis of melanoma that you talk to your healthcare provider to decide if doing BRAF testing is right for you. This is something that we find is extremely important in both stage three and stage four melanoma um, in a clinical setting at this time. Um, it's something that is a conversation that you can have with your healthcare provider upon diagnosis. Um, but one important thing to note is that the BRAF mutation doesn't, we don't really see that change throughout the course of, of treatment or of course the journey of melanoma. So um, if your BRAF um, is wild type or what is called negative um, initially a diagnosis, um, it doesn't change as patients develop metastases um, down the road. So this is something that really can be tested at any point in the melanoma journey. I hope that after watching this video, you now know what the role of BRAF is in melanoma. Again, I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant um, and ask an expert for AIM at melanoma. And this is Melanoma 101. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.